Hi guys, so today I'm just doing a mini review on the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour makeup. This is a long wearing makeup. It says it's a micro flex formula, zero transfer 24 hour wear and this color is in classic beige. This is one fluid ounce and you can buy this at the drugstore for less than $10. The price varies from place to place. But um, this product doesn't have any type of weird smell or odor or anything like that. Um, I think the color that I got was a good color for my skin. Maybe a tad bit too dark, but overall it pretty much matched my skin tone. And I believe that there are lots of different colors, so a good variety to choose from. It is a full coverage foundation and it dries to a matte powdery finish. You probably wouldn't need a powder for this. If you put a powder over this, it would probably look a little bit too cakey. On its own, I think it looks a little bit cakey. And on me, it just doesn't feel like it ever dries all the way. It just kind of feels like my skin is still damp. It feels very like masky on my skin. And let's see. Um, and it does dry to a matte finish, a powdery finish, but after just a couple of hours, it turns really oily on my skin. Like, I know my skin isn't that oily. I think it makes it even more oily. So I had to use a lot of blotting sheets, which, you know, that's expected with any foundation when you have oily skin. And I do have combination skin, normal to oily, mostly oily in my T-zone. So... You know, it doesn't take me too long to figure out whether I like something or not. However, it did take me a longer time with this because I bought it like a year ago and then I use it off and on whenever I hear somebody talking about it again. I bring it out and start using it. And the reason that I always quit using it was just because it got very shiny. So this last time that I used it, I used it for about a month straight. Um, sometimes just this and sometimes mixing it with my... Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation um, and then I quit using it because it started making me break out. I would get these little white like white heads under my skin and I would just pick at them and pick at them and they would just it would just make this big ugly thing on my face so um, that is the reason that I quit using it. Um, Despite all the other things, I think it's a good foundation that you can get at the drugstore that has a full coverage and it is long wearing as far as not being, um, as far as it being zero transfer, that's not true. It does transfer onto clothing, but if it didn't break me out, I would repurchase this just because it is probably one of the better drugstore foundations as far as, you know, longevity and being a full coverage, but if it just breaks me out so I would definitely not repurchase this but I think it's a it's kind of it's not similar to color stay to me but if you're looking for a full coverage foundation and you don't have super oily skin I think it would be a good choice and if it didn't break you out of course so that's my mini review on the Maybelline super stay makeup um, I will not repurchase this but I do think that it's an okay product depending on your skin type so if you have any other questions, please let me know and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.